What's up, everybody? Dave from Quarter Flips here. How's it going? I am not going to garage sales today. I'm not going to thrift stores. I'm not doing roadie. I'm not doing any of that. Today, I am having a garage sale. My buddy is moving. He's going to have a sale, sell a bunch of his stuff. I figured I'd bring a bunch of my stuff over and uh, see how that worked out if I did like a dual garage sale with him. We'll see who, who can sell more. If you look back here, if you've watched some of my videos, some of the stuff that's back there is stuff I have found in other garage sales on other buying days. And I just realized I was never going to get around to listing it. I, I don't expect you to have watched all of my videos and be able to identify various items in a pile in the back seat. That would be a, uh, a tall order to be able to do that. And that's, that's too much, but you know what? I'm going to go put up a garage sale sign right now. And at various points in time during the day, I'll pop in and we'll see how this thing is going. Hey, All right, we're open for business. We've only had a couple of customers. Bill is, uh, he's, you've sold twice what I've sold, I think. And I will continue to. He's gonna, he says, and I will continue to. He's gonna stay ahead of me. Um, so yeah, quality we're, we're products. what's that? Quality products, smashing Qu prices. He has quality products and smashing prices? Yeah. Smashing prices. We haven't even gotten everything out yet. People just started walking up as we're putting stuff out as they do. We said no early birds and had early birds because- We've got so much good stuff, we scared all the competition away. We scared all the competition. Yes, the other garage sales just shut down. Um, look at Bill's, look at some of Bill's stuff here. Look at that Viking helmet. It's my garage sale. I want to spend money. Some of my junk. We got a bunch more stuff to put out, so we're going to keep doing that for the course of the day. And then I'll check back in later and, and see how it's going. Uh, my We've still got a lot left, but we're getting picked over pretty well. In a couple hours, we're gonna to try to get rid of the rest of this stuff. Hey, uh, I was probably just at a garage sale with my buddy, Bill. Yeah, uh, I'm popping in here the day before doing a little time travel because uh, I wanna talk about some of the stuff I'm packing up to ship out today and some of the stuff that I've picked up recently because I haven't done a what sale video, what sold video, what sale? I haven't done a what sold video for a while. And um, I'm not really gonna do a full one of those, but there's a couple things I wanted to note. And um, I found some cool stuff that kind of relates to an older video. So let's talk about that. The very first thing I wanna say is a viewer bought one of the items out of my eBay store. This Archie McPhee Bigfoot went to Chase. Chase, thank you very much. Chase said that uh, him and his cousin have been uh, big into Bigfoot for a long time. And his cousin has a... Uh, uh, some kind of a bar in the shed behind his house. And this was going to become part of the decoration there. That is awesome. I have also been known to have a little bit of a Bigfoot obsession in the past, perhaps. Um, I don't, haven't really talked about that much here, but yeah, Bigfoot. And this is a good one. Look at him. He's awesome. Archie McPhee, Bigfoot action figure. Chase, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll try to get more videos out, you know, and get them done as I can. Things will look good for the summer. Okay, a couple of cool things that I bought while I've been out doing my roadie garage sale thing that I don't think I've talked about yet. Got a copy of Invasion of the Body Snatchers, a photo novel. I got this for 50 cents. It's, uh, I used to love it when they did this. I, I think I saw, I had a Grease one. My friend had it and then I had it for a while. A, a copy of Grease that was this exact same thing when I was in grade school. It's just pictures from the movie that they kind of make into a comic book. Um, and I remember being really scared by this one when I was a kid. So I was going to buy this for 50 cents, whether it was worth anything or not. It turns out I could probably get a little bit for this. It's a little trash, but I could still get like eight bucks. So 50 cents into eight bucks. That's, that's fine. It's, it's not a great use of time, but it doesn't hurt. And I finally found a copy of Night of the Comet on DVD. And this is not worth a lot of money, but I have never seen it. And I am not selling this. If I find another one, I'll sell it. But nope, this one goes into my very small, very prestigious private collection of DVDs 
because this is one of the best movies ever made. No discussion, no argument. Night of the Comet is awesome. Daddy would have gotten us Uzis. Okay, back to stuff that I have sold. I showed this human occupied landfill book, uh, art, role playing game book that I got. I did a video a little while back. It was not received very well. Uh, of, it's probably my worst performing video that I've done in a long time. I love role playing game books, they do really well for me, but that's not everybody's cup of tea. This book I bought for $8 in a uh, local antique store and it sold for $59.99 plus shipping. Even after the fees and everything, I'm still making like 49 bucks on this one, or I'm getting like 49 bucks for this one. So like $41, $40 uh, profit. Not bad, I'll do that all the time if I can. And similarly, I just sold this Dark Elves Warhammer Codex. Is it, they call this one a Codex? Warhammer Armies book, um, Dark Elves. I've had this one for a while. I got this one at Half Price Books quite a while back, probably on sale for $2 in their clearance section. Uh, I just sold for $10.99 plus shipping. Half Price Books hasn't been great for a while. I have kind of backed off going there and looking for stuff. And I've talked about that a little bit, but I'm going to change back. I'm going to come back to going to Half Price Books. And I think I'm going to make a trip pretty soon to hit up every Half Price Books within driving distance of where I'm at now, because the one that I go into, their clearance section has gotten amazing, absolutely amazing for role-playing game books. Just today I was in there and I got this for a dollar. It's a little bit trashed. This is a uh, Talsorian Games presents a cyberpunk source, cyberpunk source book for the global computer net. This is uh, Rosh Bartmus, the world's greatest net runner. It's Rosh Bartmus's Guide to the Net. One dollar. Look this one up. People are usually asking over $100 for this one, but even when it does sell, it sells for like 60, 70 bucks. Um, this one's a little trash, but I'm just gonna put this up for $39.99, show the condition, and I bet it will go like that. Also picked up this Battletech Operations Manual, Cockpit Operations Manual, $1. Very cool Battletech thing. This is, uh, well, what year did this thing come out? Can't even find a year on it. But uh, I do think it's going to go go for decent money. I didn't see any listed. I think I saw one sold, but I can't remember the price. I'll see if I can throw it up here. And then they also had some really great Warhammer books. Uh, Codex. These don't have. These are like limited edition Warhammer 40k books. This one was three dollars. This was two dollars. This is a uh, Codex Supplement Black Templars, and this is Codex Adeptus Sororitas. Sororitas, whatever. That's the Sisters of of Battle. Um, yeah. $3 on that one, $2 on that one. These are going to do great. And honestly, this is just the kind of thing I like to have. They don't sell fast, but they always make me my money back with some decent profit on top of it. So I spent $12 in there today on books and they're going to definitely make me, you know, 200 bucks or more. And I haven't even brought up all these, just piles and piles. All from half price books, all from in the last week. So, um, yeah. It makes me wonder if they're doing some kind of purge on gaming books, but when I walk into the normal section where they have the gaming books out there for too much money, those sections are full. I think they've just gotten overwhelmed and they're just clearing out the racks, which is a benefit for me. All right, so that's all I wanted to say here. Um, I guess let's get back to the sale. Okay, we're a couple minutes from the end of this thing. We're about to move everything into the, into the driveway and change the ad to say that everything is free. I don't know what's gonna happen. We've done this in the past. People have shown up in trucks and vans and just completely emptied the thing out in a couple of minutes. But that was in a different part of the city. I don't know if that'll happen here. We'll find out. We've only had one couple of customers show up to get free stuff. Now we wait. It's all free. <laughs> all free. <laughs> it's all free. Take it. Anything you want. The table, the shelves, anything you like. And if, if you want to move stuff off the table, do that. But if it's if it's in front of the door, all here. It's all it's it's yours to have.
All right, so it took a while. It took longer than it has in the past, but people came and took almost everything. Furniture is gonna take a little longer, so we gotta deal with that. And we're taking one little load of stuff over to Goodwill donation before it closes, but there's almost nothing in there. They took the DVDs, the stereo stuff, the books. They took it all. Thank you, Mike. The doll. What's that? They took the cursed doll. They took a cursed doll. They took a cursed doll. All right, we're going to go to Goodwill. Okay. okay, quick update, and then I'm out of here. The garage sale ended. Uh, all the stuff is gone, including the big items over the next couple days, even the larger items like the table and the big shelf, big media shelf. Those all got taken away. Bill ended up making over $200. I made $96, so Bill was right. He was more than double mine. But he had a lot of good stuff, and I had just the dregs of the last garage sale that I had and a few other small things, and I was just giving stuff away just because I did not want to have to deal with any of that stuff. I wasn't taking any home. So that's it. Um, yeah, uh, someone made fun of me in the comments recently for wearing a hat in my videos. Uh, if you saw my hair earlier in this video, you know why when I film, I do this hat. Now, Bill and I are going to get in a van, and I am going to drive him down to California, drop him off at his new place, and rush right back up here to get back to work. So I'm not even going to have time for, like, shopping or video making on this trip. This one is fully just get the job done and get it over with. So once I get up here again next week, I'll figure out what my next video is going to be. All right. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Thanks.